everyone and welcome to my channel so today I'm joined here with my little special guest um, and we are just going to tell you a story time so as you can tell by the title this is a story time of my craziest fangirl moments um, I'm sure that everyone watching this video has some of these crazy fangirl moments where you just become so blinded by love for the celebrity that you can't do anything to control it and it just turns into a bit of an obsessive episode. <laughs> Here are some of my craziest moments where I have let my inner fangirl definitely get the better of me. So the first story involves a very, very famous celebrity, one of our all-time favorites here on this channel, Justin Bieber. I'm actually going to see him in concert tomorrow. Are you jealous? I'm sure that a lot of you can relate to this story because I'm sure that in one point in time or another, we are all guilty of being slightly obsessed with Justin Bieber. So anyways, I was about 14 at the time that this happened and a friend and I were on Omegle. I'm not sure how many of you would remember um, the website Omegle or know of it, but it's basically just like a web chat video which like randomly selects another person and you get matched and you can like talk to each other um, all around the world. So it's, you know, a lot of penises that kind of thing like it's not the greatest website but we used to just go on it for a little bit of entertainment when we were young you know you'd have friends over and you'd be like oh my god let's go on Omegle so anyways friend and I had a sleepover we were on Omegle just trolling through all the penises and we finally got to this guy and he was just talking to us he seemed normal he was from America and um all of a sudden he was just like oh yeah like I'm really good friends with Justin Bieber and we were saying you know sh give us some evidence we don't believe you and so he's like oh I'll call him I have his number so he gets his phone out and he calls a number and it just rings and rings and rings and no one answers and we're just like oh, like as if and then someone answers but it's a voicemail but the voicemail goes oh hey You've reached Justin Bieber. Um, I can't take your call right now, but like, leave a message or hit me up again later, bruh. <laughs> like, obviously now looking back on this, that's not real, you know? Like, anyone could have got that from anywhere, recorded it. It's so unreal. But at the time, all I heard was Justin Bieber's voice over that phone. He hook, line, and sinker got me. Seriously, I was. 100% believed him at that moment and um, I just kept asking him to call Justin Bieber again I was like maybe he's gonna answer this time like just call him again just try again just call him again I think he realized that all I cared about was Justin Bieber and he just completely gave up on the idea and just didn't want to talk to us anymore but I wasn't over I wasn't done I wanted to talk to Justin Bieber and I was about to do that I called him on Skype like every single day for two weeks and I was just like get Justin Bieber to follow me on Twitter ask him to message me like rah 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 so stupid and this poor guy was probably like oh my god I've picked a crazy like help me please um, and eventually he just blocked me on Skype and I never got to talk to Justin Bieber and he never followed me on Twitter so this story absolutely takes the cake. This is by far my biggest like fangirl moment. Um, I was just, it's like a new level of obsession for me. I've never felt something like this in my life and I don't think I ever will again. I was just insanely obsessed for like two years, two full years of my life. I was, I just consumed by this obsession with One Direction. So I'm sure you all know who One Direction are. Um, I discovered them shortly after they released their first ever single and the obsession was almost instant. So probably a year went by where my obsession just spiraled out of control where I would like watch every single video of them. I would know everything about them. So anyways, after like a year and a half of this obsession, it was announced they were coming to New Zealand. I cried at this news. It was a very overwhelming time for me. I got tickets to the concert, obviously. But not only did I go to their concert, that was obviously not going to be enough for me, you know. Like, 
to see them on the stage performing that's great amazing love it but that's not enough I needed more I knew where they were staying I knew they were gonna be staying at the like celebrity hotel in Wellington the one that everyone stays at which was the Intercontinental I knew they were gonna be there <laughs> you can't just prepare yourselves okay so it was the day of the concert so I knew they were going to be at the hotel so we went there um, probably around lunchtime and I waited until just before the concert and I saw like their stylist and their managers and stuff like that so I knew they were there but I didn't get to see them um, and I saw them leave to go to the concert in their van with all tinted windows and I was heartbroken because they hadn't come out of the hotel to see me I gave up that day I went and went to the concert so after watching the concert my obsession just went to a new level which you know is unfathomable seeing as how obsessed I already was at that point but I was like no you know there's no way they're coming to New Zealand and leaving without seeing me I just can't let that happen and so the next morning my friend and I woke up at 4.30 in the morning to get my mum to drive us to the hotel for 5 a.m. and we waited outside the hotel and I'm not exaggerating when I say we waited the entire day until 5 p.m. so then one of the bodyguards who was really close with the band came out and me being obsessed obviously I knew him by name because that's not weird at all so I called out to him and he came over to me and I said look I've been waiting here all day like can you just be real with me and tell me if they're going to come out because if they're not you know I'm just gonna go home I've been here for 12 hours like I'm literally done with this experience I just want to know and so he's like you know if I tell you you can't tell anyone you know you have to just keep it a secret you can't say and obviously I was like oh my god yes <laughs> tell me tell me tell me and he's like they are going to come out really briefly they're gonna wait till people hopefully die down give up and leave so they've only got like a very small amount of people to come out and see but obviously you can imagine I basically like was a mess I just couldn't even like believe my life and they came out I was just like bawling my eyes out I was shaking I couldn't handle it I was screaming it was just a mess of a situation I'm ashamed who was that girl because it wasn't me the fact that I made eye contact with them was enough for me they smiled at me that set my soul free I was just so overwhelmed like poor little baby Kendra was just absolutely overwhelmed she just didn't know what to do with herself so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video it's pretty crazy some of the lengths I went to just to meet someone who I idolized um, but you know I'll own that with pride I was young naive and obsessed so you know what can you do it made me really happy at the time if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up for more story time videos you all seem to really enjoy the last one that I made so I will definitely make some more if you're all interested and don't forget to subscribe I put out heaps of new videos every single week so if you don't want to miss any of them hit that big red button and join us on this YouTube journey Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I can't keep you from